On April 12, 2022, Amtrak 972 is sitting on Main 1 at CP18 in Wayne, Michigan. This afternoon, they are meeting Amtrak Train 350, which is led by an Amtrak Charger. Today, the ballast train will be dumping rock between CP18 and CP25 on the Amtrak Michigan line. With Amtrak 350 cleared, Amtrak 972 takes the signal westbound at CP18. They are moving west at walking speed and will start to dump ballast as soon as the train clears the diamond. We get our first shot of them as they cross the CSX Saginaw sub as the southbound CSX waits just to the north. The consist for the ballast train is quite interesting. It includes a pair of GE built P32 8s and Norfolk Southern EMD SD70 ACE number 1067, the Reading Heritage Unit. The 1067 had brought the train to Wayne and is dead in tow this afternoon. I wonder if he's just getting like a little bit Ballast trains are designed to dump fresh rock onto the right of way. They accomplish this by being loaded at a quarry and then using their bay doors to dump the rock. The type of dumping that Amtrak is doing this afternoon requires slow speeds so the rock can be dumped precisely next to the ties. Workers will be walking with the train to monitor its progress and open the next bay's door when a compartment is empty. Friday, Saturday, we're operating two trains. And then Sunday, Monday this week, we aren't. But Easter weekend, it's two trains the whole weekend. I believe that. And I imagine it'd be much the same on day out if Tom's coming out. And it's just one train, but it's one annoying train. <laughs> do you guys get the real one that uh, Strasburg has, or do you guys get one of the replicas? We get a real one. Okay. Or the real one, because there's only one real one. There's about three or four dummies, and then the real one. Moving west to Hannon Road, we get a better view of the strange consist. Leading the train is Amtrak 518, followed by Amtrak 519. These were the last two P-32s that were built in the order of 20. The P-32-8 is a unique locomotive to Amtrak, built between 1990 and 1991. They were once commonplace on certain Amtrak routes, 
but now are mostly used in switching and maintenance of way service. Ballast is a critical part of railroad infrastructure, as it carries the weight of the train and provides drainage so water does not sit with the tracks. It is relatively common to replace ballast along with doing tie projects like this. As the train creeps along, we get a close-up of one of the open ballast hoppers. These neon green ballast cars are owned by Amtrak and used on Amtrak owned lines like the Michigan Line or Northeast Corridor. Due to the slow walking speed of the train, we are easily able to get ahead of it. Here we are at Lots Road. At this location, we can see many of the thousands of ties that are laid out along the line. These will be replaced throughout the spring and summer.
At Haggerty Road, a foreman provided the workers with cold water. So far, the crews have walked about two miles from CP-18 to Signal 20. They gotta go so slow because they gotta walk along with it. That's why they gotta go so slow. Yep. Our next stop would be Sheldon Road. Here we also take another quick view of the crew dumping rock. At Belleville Road, the tracks run overhead. The train has now covered just over four miles in just about two hours.
our final shot of the afternoon would be at Beck Road. So far, about one half of the train has been dumped, and in one and a half miles, they will be done for the day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Amtrak P32-8 action, do not forget to subscribe for future rail fanning videos.